Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hi, my name is Tracy. I'm a member of Five Dinners One Hour. I was actually live on here yesterday prepping my meals for the week, and um, I'm getting ready to make one of those meals our lunch for today on Wednesdays. Um, it works best for our family that I, instead of making dinner on Wednesdays, I make lunch on Wednesdays. So I wanted to come and bring you guys along and let you know how easy it is to do this. So as you're hopping on, say hello, let me know where you're joining me from, and I'm gonna grab out my ingredients or the items that I've prepped, I should say, not they are ingredients, but they've been prepped and put together. And um, I'm gonna show you guys, let's see, there we go, that's better. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys, let me see about this. Let's see if I can tilt you down a little bit. No, why is it falling? Hold on, we're gonna adjust you for a second, bear with me. Ah, stop. Sorry about my hand. Come on, turn. No need to apologize. I'm not talking to you. My watch thinks I'm talking to her. Let's see. Let's see. That might be better. All right. There we go. Sorry about that, you guys. Anyway, hi. My name is Tracy. I'm a member of Five Dinners One Hour. Um, I was live prepping my meals for the week yesterday, and now I'm actually going to make one of them for you, show you how quick and easy it is to make these meals. I did preheat my ovens before I came live just so that we didn't have to sit around and wait for that to happen. But I'm gonna show you how quick and easy and easy it is to do. So I've got the barbecue chicken French bread pizza here. And I am opening up my French breads now. Um, Five Dinners One Hour really teaches us to utilize um, what we have on hand, right? And instead of buying a loaf of French bread, um, I had these uh, sub rolls in my freezer, and so I decided to to pull those out so that I could use them up. But it did have me in the prep; it had me go ahead and slice through them halfway. Um, and then I also have a gluten free crust over here because not every because we do have some gluten free um, people in our house. So anyway. Um, hello, welcome, let me know where you're joining me from as you join me. So I've got my mixture for this barbecue chicken pizza that I made up yesterday, and I'm gonna go ahead and start getting it spread onto my crust. Now I will say, it's this has got you know onion and barbecue and chicken and lots of goodness in here. I will let you know, it should have cheese in it. Um, and mine does not have cheese in it, and I'll explain why in a moment. Um, it's because we um, have a cow's dairy sensitivity in this house. And so rather than mix the cheese in it together, what I'm doing is I am putting it, um, gonna put it on top of the ones that can have the cheese. And that's fine. Because you just go ahead and do what is best for you and your family, right? And you can make substitutions as needed. There we go, get this all out of here. See if I've got it all. Um, you can totally do this in disposable zip top bags. It'd probably even be a little bit easier if I'm being honest um, <laughs> than to do it in one of these reusable bags. We're gonna go ahead, get this topping all over. Make sure we are good and ready to go here for our pizzas. All right, woo! Okay, I'm gonna set this down for just a second. Wipe off my hands. Hello, hello! It is so helpful, I'm telling you. Yeah, I've made this one before too. And actually, um, my daughter didn't know that I had put it back on the menu this week, and she was like, what's for dinner tomorrow night? Oh, that's another thing. I know the answer to that question. I know the answer to what's for dinner, and oh my gosh, is that a lifesaver? Um, but she was like, what's for dinner? And I was like, well, or what are we having tomorrow? And I was like, well, we can have the barbecue chicken French bread pizza or the Tex-Mex roll-ups. And she's like, oh, the barbecue chicken pizza. I was like, you got it, girl. So that is what I'm making for you guys right now. Hello, hello. So I, like I said, I'm just getting everything ready. My oven is preheated. Um, I am choosing not to put cheese on the gluten-free one because that is the one that also 
has the sensitivity to the cow's dairy. So I'm just gonna top that with a little bit of goat cheese when it comes out. Um, because that's what works for my family. And so it's super duper adaptable. So that's it, that's all I had to do. So all I had to do was get this on and if I had mixed the cheese all together with it, like the recipe, like the instructions actually call for you to do, I wouldn't have even had to do that step. But let me pop this in the oven. Alright. And Alexa, set a 20 minute timer. Okay, so there we go. Starting now. You're awfully loud today. Okay. Too loud is by spicy Mexican. Alexa, stop. I don't know. I don't know what she was going to do there, but we didn't, we, whatever it was, we did not need it. We were not here for it. That's how easy it is to get dinner ready. So, or lunch ready or whatever it is that you're eating it for your family. Today, it's a lunch around here, right? Um, mom, mom of five and a sports mom and you need help. Please tell you how you can do this. Okay. You need to go to our website, five dinners, one hour.com. And it's really that simple. I spent one hour last week. I'm going to make something else. I'm going to show you guys another fun thing. Um, this is just a fun thing, but we're going to spend, I spent less than an hour yesterday. I prepped five meals for my family. I have them all in the fridge. Um, last night when my daughter got home from school, because my daughter is also in club sports. Um, when she got home from school, she's like, oh my gosh, it smells so good in here because I had the delicious um, baked Parmesan shrimp and broccoli going. So she was, that was cooking. She finished up her homework and we were able to make up a container I, for her to eat in the car on the way to practice. It was great. So that's just how it goes. It's super duper, super duper easy. Um, so we have a code a coupon code right now for 10 off and the code is 10 off one zero O F F and that would get you $10 off. And, um, it comes down to about three bucks a week. Um, we have a classic plan and a clean eating plan. The recipe that I made right now, the barbecue chicken French bread pizza, that's from our classic plan. Um, but we also have a clean eating plan yesterday. I prepped a couple from the clean eating as well, which were buffalo chicken, sweet potato casserole and sheet pan Italian pork chops, which were awesome. So I'm just really excited to get that going. Um, but so you get sick, you have 60 recipes at all times, right? And you have. So you get 20 new recipes every month. So now is the perfect time to join because on Sunday, the new recipes come on. So that means that on Sunday, um, the February recipes will be gone and the May recipes will be there. So you still have 60 recipes because you get 20 new each month, but um, you will not have access to the February recipes anymore. So if you join now, you get those February recipes and even though you won't have time to make them all, you can go through, look at what looks good to you, give it a little heart and it'll save it for you. So now is really the perfect time. The website is five dinners, one hour.com and there is a link in the bio. Um, but it has helped me save so much on my groceries. It's helped me eliminate waste in my house. And I mean, eliminate like, even I'm not buying too much bagged salad, you know, even. So, cause I know exactly how much I need because what it does is it generates a grocery list for you. And here's a fun thing that they also do. If you have a recipe with pork, what would be a good sub? Chicken is a fantastic substitute for pork. Fantastic substitute for pork. Um, but yeah, you can adjust it in whatever way you would like. And you, it is fully customizable to your needs of family size and everything else. So it's really, really cool. Um, and it's just nice that like dinner makes itself, right? You took one hour once a week or a little less or your first time, maybe a few minutes more, right? And you don't have dishes anymore to do because check this out. I'm making another thing right now that I'm going to show you guys in just a second. But like these are all of the dishes I have. I didn't, I didn't need a cutting board. I didn't need a knife. I didn't need um, mixing bowls. I didn't need any of that because I had already done that and already cleaned it all up. So this, the plates we eat off of and the pan I cooked on, that's it. And if I had used a disposable bag, I just have this. So it's really, really simple and I love having less cleanup. Fun thing is they also give us member bonuses. So um, they'll give us like, it'll be like a treat or a snack or a dessert or things like that. 
that just live in our dashboard, which is really cool. And this member bonus is Zesty Ranch Rich Crackers. And I thought I would make them because my husband and daughter are gonna go on a little road trip this weekend. And I thought it just might be fun for them to have, um, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? There it is. I thought it would be fun for them to have just a, a fun little treat, you know, for snacking on the road. So I am making this up. How many people does each meal feed? However many you want it to. You can fully adjust the recipes. I'm a family of three, so I do a serving size of three. You, it defaults to a serving size of six. You can change it to one. You can change it to 1,000. Well, I know you can do 999. I haven't tried 1,000. But I know you can get all the way up to 999. So whatever it is that you want that's the right serving size for your family, and you can adjust it by recipe. So say I am feeding my family of three for four meals, but I'm having company and I'm feeding 12 people for that fifth meal, then I will set that fifth meal to 12. It's really that simple. But I just thought it would be fun to show you while I'm here with you, um, just that we have some member bonuses and some fun extra bonus things to do sometimes. I use Stasher brand reusable bags. Um, so yeah, so it's really, really great. So I am just mixing up some deliciousness to go on top of these crackers. And they're gonna bake at the same time that my lunch is baking. And it's just really not taking me any more time. And since I was hanging out here talking to you, um, I thought I would go ahead and do a fun treat for them for the trip. So we'll just spread this around a little bit. Now, um, it helps keep costs down too, right? Because you're using up things that you had. And when I looked at this bonus with the Zesty Ranch Ritz crackers, I realized that um, the only thing I needed to buy for this, I had everything else on hand already. The only thing that I needed to buy were the Ritz crackers. And Ritz crackers were on sale at my store. So I, I'm spending $2.98 on this fun little road trip snack for my family because I already had the other things that I needed. Just join new here, what are we talking about? We are talking about five dinners an hour and we are talking about how simple and easy it is to get meals on the table for our family, um, to have everything prepped so that we can get meals on the table, sorry I needed a grater, for our family and um, not have lots of cleanup or anything else. And I actually have a meal in the oven, but right now I'm just making a fun snack for a road trip that's a bonus recipe. So I'm going ahead and doing that. All right. And get this all cheesied up for them. All right. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? You have 12 minutes left on your 20 minute timer. Oh, that's just about perfect. I'm gonna to talk to you for another minute and then I'm gonna pop this in the oven and then everything will be done at the same time, which is great. For beginners, what I do highly recommend for prep day, you've seen people with the green bag holders. Yeah, okay, so here are the things that I recommend. Let me actually pop this in the oven and then I will pull out for you what I would do, I will show you guys how simple it is to get ready for a prep day around here, okay? So let me pop this in the oven. Just so it all goes at the same time. All right, for a prep day, here's what I would do. I would grab a cutting board. I'm gonna watch you, you're gonna watch me do this in all time, real time. I would grab a pair of kitchen scissors. I would grab a knife. I would grab, I would grab measuring cups, measuring spoons. I would grab liquid measure, a can opener, and that's it. Oh no, hold on. I would also grab, I would also grab a spoon and a rubber scraper spatula turner thingamawatsits. 
Um, and then sometimes I will have a recipe that calls for a mixing bowl. So I'll grab a mixing bowl. That's it. This is why we say you can get ready to prep in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> like it takes five minutes to get everything out because you know where this stuff is in your kitchen, right? This is it. This is all it takes for me to prep my meals. Now, some people do use the baggie holders and I'll show you those. Um, I have some right here. These are really cool. They're on Amazon and you can just, it's a stand that your Ziploc bag goes in and whatnot, but you don't even really need that. Let me grab a zip top and I'll show you. Okay, you don't even really need that because if you, I mean, if you want it, if you're a gadget person, by all means. But if you don't wanna buy anything new and you wanna just use up what you have, all you do is you take your zip top bag, you fold the top over, you set it inside a mixing bowl and it stays open for you. It's that easy, 100% that easy. So yeah, really simple. I'll show you how it does go into these baggie holders so you can see it, um, I, but it's really simple, really easy, right? It's easy and you don't have to buy anything, but if you, like some people are gadget people, if you're a gadget person and you want a baggie holder stand, there you go, baggie holder stand. And you can line all five of your bags up, however you would like to do it. But there is no requirement of anything. All of the rest of this stuff is all stuff that I promise you, you have on hand, right? If you cook anything in your kitchen ever, you have all of this stuff on hand. So that's it. That's all that it takes. You don't have to have any special features, special ingredients, special anything. It's that simple. It tells you exactly how much you need for the recipe so you're not buying too much of something. Um, you're buying exactly what you need or you're not short of anything. Um, and yeah, I know that answer to what's for dinner. And you save so much money. So let's talk about that. When was the last time you guys ate out? And how much did you spend eating out? How many people, how much did you spend? I would love to hear that. I, what's an, a good example for us? We went to Chipotle a couple of weeks ago. We got, my daughter got a burrito, my husband and I each got a burrito bowl, and all three of us got a drink, okay? So an entree and a drink for three people. Um, th so three entrees, three drinks. $51, $51. We had planned for it, we knew we were gonna be doing that. I just look at that price tag and I'm like, oh, holy cow. This barbecue chicken French bread pizza that I've got in the oven right now, if I had had to purchase everything, if I didn't have a single thing that I needed for it, $10.79 is what it would have cost my family of three. Um, firehouse subs yesterday, three subs and two cookies, $45. Exactly. Um, hold, I'm gonna bring you guys closer so I can read it better because I'm not actually cooking anything right now. You don't have a lot of counter space, so the little holders would probably be handy for you. Yeah, absolutely. You do what's best for you and what works in your house and your pantry and all, or your, you know, for your environment. I have prepped in a large kitchen with lots of space. I have prepped on a card table. It can be done in anything. So 100%. Two weeks ago, four people, 300 bucks. Yee, ouch. Yeah. So what I'll tell you is that um, for the five meals that I prepped, this week, um, I spent, where's my list? If I had had to buy everything, which I did not because I shopped my fridge, freezer, and pantry first, I am using five dinners one hour because I like to buy meats in bulk and things like that. Um, I'm using five dinners one hour to like spring clean my freezers and things like that, make sure I'm using things up. Yesterday, I used up a package of shrimp. I used up a big Costco bag of frozen broccoli that I had been working on, all the things. Um, so. I used up some chicken, all the things. All right, so if I had to buy everything, it would have cost me $64.92 for five meals for my family for the week. Um, so that's $4.32 per person per meal. It's 15 servings for less than 65 bucks. And, um, but I didn't have to because I shopped everything first. I spent $31.95, so $2.13 per person per serving. Um, okay. Hold please. All right, hold on. You have a subscription, but you're having a hard time finding recipes that your family would eat. Um, what is it that they're, what is it that they don't like? Like what are they, which subscription do you have? And what are they picky about? Because I can point you in the right direction. 
um, Mr. and Mrs. Crab on Friday night, two people for 120 bucks, including the tip. It's expensive to eat out. And I'm not saying don't eat out. I'm saying let's let eating out be a treat rather than, oh crap, I gotta feed these people again. Because we've all been there, right? Where it's like, oh, we'll just run through the drive-thru. Oh, we'll just grab takeout. Oh, we'll just go to a restaurant. And you're spending a ton of money and a ton of time. And here, you're controlling the ingredients. You know what you have, all of this thing. Um, is this like a book you buy or something? No, it's a subscription service that rotates every month and it's totally adjustable. Um, it's There's a quarterly plan. Five dinners, one hour.com is a website. And use the code 10off10off to save 10 bucks. And it comes down to about three bucks a week and I promise you, you're saving more than that. I mean, I just told you for all of my dinners, I spent less than $32. Less than $32. Um, and then this, this road trip treat that I made for my family cost me exactly $2.98. Okay. <laughs> so, um, how does the plan work? Do you get to pick the meals? You would love more information. Your kids are picky. Yes, lots of people have picky eaters. Okay, this is fantastic for picky eaters, and let me tell you why. First of all, with picky eaters, I would recommend the clean plan or the classic plan, um, just because they tend to be more of those comfort foodie type flavors. Um, but the clean eating is also fantastic. You can sub out anything. You can sub out whatever your family doesn't like. So if a recipe, oh, and it all includes the sides. The sides are all included in all of that information. This is not just mains. So like if a recipe calls for green beans as a side, I'm gonna do broccoli because my kid doesn't like green beans, but she loves broccoli and she loves asparagus. So I'll do one of those two. So instead of buying green beans, I'll just make a little note and I'll get the asparagus or whatever. But you can totally, you can't possibly feed a family with healthy nutrition, nutrient rich ingredients for that low of a cost. Well, I am. So, but you can go ahead and do things the way that you would like to be doing. We are doing what is best for our family and you can do what is best for your family. Where am I buying my food from? I got my food from Walmart this week. Um, so now again, I shopped my fridge, freezer, and pantry. So that's how I did it for $32. But if I had had to purchase everything, it would have cost me just under 65. That's it. My entire groceries um, cost me, including things I needed for breakfast, fresh fruits and veggies for snacks and things like that, and um, lunches, my entire grocery bill was, where is it? $76 this week for three people. I think that's pretty great. Now, I'm in Arizona. If you're in a different part of the country, your bills might be a little bit different, but it's perspective as to how it relates to you and what you were spending before. All right. Um, so yeah, so it's great. What's really nice, so these are recipes. They're prep ahead. They're super simple step-by-step -step instructions. Let me tell you, so for the barbecue chicken French bread pizza, my first instruction was slice the onion and add to a large zipper bag. Like that's how easy it is, you guys. Add remaining ingredients to the same bag, zip and shake well. It's that simple. Um, and then slice my French bread in half, wrap it in saran wrap so to store it in the fridge. And so I knew exactly what I needed to do. So then when it was time to make the meal, all I had to do was pull those things out of the fridge, assemble my things and get to go. Oh, you get to shop your pantry with uh, canned items that you canned yourself last summer. That's amazing. Good for you. I am not a gardener. I wish I were a gardener and a canner, but I'm not. Um, but that's awesome. Do I only shop weekly? I do shop weekly. Yeah, um, that's my personal choice. Some people shop monthly. Um, as a matter of fact, there was someone over on the um, Five Dinners One Hour community group yesterday who was saying her schedule is so crazy that she gets together with a friend um, once a month and they spend about two to three hours and they prep all of their family's meals for the month and make sure they have a bunch of freezable items. They load up their freezers, keep five fresh for the week and then go from there. So you can absolutely do it. Is there an option for dietary restrictions? There are a million different dietary restrictions out there, right? So there isn't an option for each one. That said, it's really easy to customize and adapt to what you want. You will see that I used um, instead of doing French, uh, French bread loaf on part of the pizzas, I used some gluten-free crust. Um, if this is gluten-free and dairy-free, um, and I didn't use 
um, any cow's milk cheese because we have a cow or on the gluten free one because we also have a cow's milk sensitivity in this house. So you're buying your groceries. So you're the one that can pick, you know, what it is that you need. You need low sodium. So I recommend doing the clean eating plan. And um, again, you're controlling your ingredients. So if you're using a chicken broth, you're going to do a low sodium chicken broth. Or if it call a lot of times our recipes will say salt and pepper to taste, you would know to use less salt, maybe use a salt substitute, things like that there. The things that you're already buying and you're already using. If you adapt, will it make a new shopping list? Could you put all chicken recipes in one week? Yeah, you can, you can add whatever recipes that you want. So it, it's not set. You, you can use a set menu. There is a set menu that you can use, but I think most of us do the build your own. Alexa, stop the timer. I think most of us do the build your own. So I'm gonna hold on one second and you put in whatever recipes you want. So like I said, this week I made barbecue chicken, French bread pizza, Tex-Mex roll-ups, baked Parmesan shrimp and broccoli, um, buffalo, sweet ch buffalo chicken sweet potato casserole, I have a really hard time saying that, and sheet pan Italian pork chops. Those are the meals my family is eating this week. You do build your own. Yeah, I think most of us like to build your own. Okay, so hold on one second. Let me get these things out of the oven. So you all can see what we made. And then I'll answer more questions. Our yummy member bonus bonus items the treat that I made for my family for their road trip so those are what exactly are they called the exact name of them is hold please zesty ranch Ritz crackers and that was just a bonus item that's not part of one of our regular recipes but it's just fun and I wanted to show you that sometimes we get fun snacks and desserts and things like that that they just throw at us because it's cool all right There we go. Check that out. Let me turn off my ovens. Okay, so this is the barbecue chicken French bread pizza. Now again, I did do gluten-free crust as needed and without cheese on this one as needed because you're doing what's best for your family, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and serve up This one, there we go. Check that out. And then we're gonna serve that with a salad. All of the recipes, everything comes with side recommendations and that's inc included in your grocery list. And that is included in, um, I just threw a piece of lettuce at myself. That is included in the prices that I'm telling you of what I personally spent. Again, in my area, so, and I decided to go with bag salad. Why? Because it's easy. You could totally cut your own lettuce and do your own thing. But I am doing what I what is best for me and my family this week. So here is the beautiful lunch. This one's gonna go to my husband. It's fantastic. Absolutely lovely. So very, very excited about that. And then on this gluten-free one, I am going to because this one is, we can have goat cheese, but we can't have cow's cheese on this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of goat cheese on here. And that's something that I just always happen to have on hand. So that wasn't an extra expense for me. Um, that's something that we use for snacks and things like that. If you've never tried goat cheese stuffed in a date, you are missing out. Delicious. I'm just gonna dollop some of this on here so that there is a little creamy cheesiness on this one. Um, and it does call for feta as an optional item. And so if you want to use feta as an optional item, you totally can. And if I had had feta, I would have, but I had the goat cheese, so I didn't wanna buy anything else this week. So there we go. That's it. I've got my, let me get this out of the way. I've got my meal ready to go. 
It didn't take me any time. It cooked for me while I chatted with you. I actually turned around and made a bonus treat for my family during the same amount of time. But there you go. Now there are oven recipes. There are, we've got, we've got oven, we've got skillet, we've got grill, we've got slow cooker. You can pick whatever you want and there is a great search feature so you can trade. If you're like, I am only doing slow cooker recipes, then go ahead and search for slow cooker and you can do it. You've got those 60 recipes all the time. The last time you had goat cheese, it did not work out for you. I'm so sorry. We're fans. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, if you were having a problem with the app, use the website. It's super easy. And go onto the website and there are step-by-step -step tutorial videos that walk you through exactly how to do it. It's really, really simple once you understand it. So go take a few minutes, watch those videos, and you'll do great. I promise it'll be easy. When you sub, do you get... When you subscribe, do you get all of the past recipes or just future recipes? When do new ones come out? So if you subscribe today, you are gonna get February, March, and April recipes. On Sunday, February recipes will go away, May recipes will come in. So I suggest subscribing today so that you still get those February recipes. And then every month you're gonna get 20 new recipes on either the classic or the clean eating, or if you have combo, you get 40 new because you get 20 in each spot. Also on the combo, there are 170 um, lunch recipes, which you can also add to your menu and, or add to your menu, and it also it adds that in your grocery list. In case you missed that information. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for asking questions. I'm happy. The discount code is 10 off, 10OFF. Hello from Scotland. Thank you for joining me. So yeah, it's super easy, super delicious. There's a huge variety of foods. There's a classic plan and a clean eating plan. You have access in each of those plans to 60 recipes at all times. If you do both of the plans together, you have 120 recipes at your fingertips at all times. Plus on the combo, there's also an additional 170 that don't rotate that are of lunch meals. Are there meatless recipes? There are some, but there is not a full meatless plan. That said, it's super easy to swap out your proteins. Um, I like to do meatless recipes most, I didn't this week, but most weeks I like to do one or two meatless recipes. Um, and I will sub in tofu or chicken or chickpeas, things like that. So really, really good, but I'm not vegetarian. So um, I just prefer not to have meat every night. I'm glad you're gonna sign up and give it a try. I think you'll like it. Sunday, yeah, Sunday the May recipes will come on. If you sign up today, you already have March and April. Um, but if you sign up today, you also have February. So then you can go through and favorite those February recipes. So then on Sunday, they go away and May comes on. And that's how it works. The last day of the month is when you get the new recipes. So Sunday's the last day of the month, right? I don't want to tell you guys the wrong day. The last day of the month is when the, the new recipes cycle on and you lose that third month, falls off. Which plan has more low carb, low carb recipes? I would go classic, or I'm sorry, clean eating. I would go clean eating. Um, and you might need to make some subs, like if it calls for brown rice, you might want to sub cauliflower rice, um, things like that. Yes, yeah, you can absolutely save recipes from the month falling off. So what you do is there's a little heart, you press the heart, some, you have to press it twice, and it turns green, and when it turns green, then it's saved. And so then you can go into your saved recipes and you can search for it for later. You're subscribing Friday when you get paid, yay! You're doing the sample menu this week, awesome. And you've liked it, right? It's a big difference. It's, it's amazing the difference in how nice your evenings go because I can pop something in the oven and I can go start a little laundry, I can help with homework, I can, you know, just sit down and chill out for 25 minutes while it cooks on its own. And I'm not gonna have a bunch of dishes to do because again, these are my dishes from prepping this meal. I have my reusable bag because I chose to use a reusable bag. If you had a disposable bag, you would not have that. I have these tongs and I did use a pair of scissors to open my goat cheese. That's it. Those are all of the dishes that I have from that, from that particular recipe, that's it. And so I'll have to wash the pan that I cooked on and the plates that we eat off of. If you use paper plates, less cleanup even there. You do what's best for you. Are all meals baked or crock pot meals? No, mm -mm, neither. There's um, 
We, have, we bake, we broil, we grill, we skillet, we slow cooker. Um, there are all of the different things. And so if you only want slow cooker meals, then you can search for that. If you only want um, grill, you can search for that. Um, just use one of the search features. Yes, it's so easy and you're loving the simplicity of it all. That's fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, what meals did I make this week? This week I prepped barbecue chicken French bread pizza, which is what's right here. Yum. And Tex-Mex roll-ups. Baked Parmesan shrimp and broccoli. We had that for dinner last night. Um, buffalo chicken, because I prepped yesterday. Buffalo chicken sweet potato casserole and sheet pan Italian pork chops. So make sure you're following us, subscribed, whatever it's called, over on TikTok, right? Because you're gonna see people coming live to prep. You're gonna see um, time lapses of people prepping their meals, how people get everything ready to prep, like I showed you in the beginning, all the things that you need, which is nothing fancy. It's all stuff you have on hand. You know, measuring cups, a knife and a cutting board, pretty easy. Um, and you know, you're gonna see every once in a while, they'll just throw up an entire recipe over there. Um, you'll get to see some videos of just some meals that have been prepared and how they are. It's, it's really cool over there on TikTok. So make sure you subscribe and share it with a friend, 100%. Oh, yay. Well, thank you guys so much. If you don't have any other questions, I'm gonna go serve lunch because I'm hungry. Um, but if you do, I'll hang out just a couple more minutes. Would the clean eating option be keto? No, it is not keto. It is, but you can make subs for whatever best fits your dietary restrictions. Clean is lean meats, whole grains, lots of veggies. That's our clean eating plan. Um, but again, brown rice, you sub cauliflower rice. Um, you know, sub cauliflower for potato or rice, things like that, you know, that you already do anyway. Um, there is a slow cooker turkey bolognese that's served over zucchini noodles. So it is lighter, it is cleaner, um, but it's not specifically keto because there are so many different versions of clean eating, right? And so you'll need to find what suits your dietary needs the best, but you're the one buying your groceries. So there you go. All right, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, don't gatekeep keep this, share this with your friends because um, everybody wants to make this so much easier, right? <laughs> we, all, we all want life to be easier. We all just wanna get the people fed because you know what, even though you fed them yesterday, you're gonna have to feed them again today. Even though you fed them last week, you're gonna have to feed them again next week, right? And so whether you've been cooking forever, which I have been doing, or um, if you're new to cooking, it's just super easy, simple to follow instructions where you can get a break and do your fancy meals that, you're used, that you really like, your family favorites on the weekends where you have more time or on whatever day of the week that is for you. Um, or it's a great way to learn to cook. This is great for new cooks because the instructions are super simple. Like for my sheet pan Italian pork chops, I had two assembly instructions. Cut potatoes into small bite-sized pieces, okay? Add all ingredients to large zipper bag, zip to seal and squish around to mix. That's it and the pork chops are marinating in my fridge. So it's really, really easy. Really easy, really simple, delicious. So share this with your friends. Make sure you're subscribed to our TikTok page or following, or I think it's following. Following? Yeah, <laughs> anyway, I get that messed up all the time. Anyway, make sure you're doing that and definitely check it out. If you have a fish allergy, can you pick to get no fish meals? You cannot pick to have no fish meals presented to you, however, there are tons of meals that are no fish. I rarely do fish because I don't like fish. My family likes fish, so I do it occasionally. But I almost never do pick fish recipes. But you've got 60 recipes to choose from. So just choose the ones without fish. Or if there's a fish meal that looks really, really good to you, like today, I, and this is a shellfish, so I don't know if that is your allergy, if it's all fish or if it's just seafood. Um, but I did the baked Parmesan shrimp and broccoli, and I could have very easily subbed that shrimp out for small cut pieces of chicken. So, you know, you go for it. Um, would pre-cooked meats work with your recipes? It depends on the recipe. Oftentimes this one called for pre-cooked shredded chicken. So I used a rotisserie chicken and shredded it up really fast. Which by the way, to shred a chicken, put it in a bowl, hand mixer, shred it in like 20 seconds, it's amazing. Um, 
Would it be ideal for a single person? Yeah, because you can adjust your serving size to whatever you would like. Anything from one to 999. It's all fish, fresh or shell. Okay, yeah, so just don't pick those. Like I am not gonna pick a salmon recipe most of the time because I don't, I don't like it, but my family does, so every once in a while I'll pick it. But yeah, it's, but, and I'm not missing, excuse me, I'm not missing out on anything because there's so many options. Like you can't cook them all. You can't get through them all. So, and especially if you have a favorite that you want to go back and revisit. Like this one we've made before and my daughter wanted it again. So we're making it again. Do we have dessert options too? Um, we do not, there are not desserts on the plans. Once you're a member, there are bundles where there are some dessert bundles that you can pick up that are just kind of one time. They don't rotate sort of things. But occasionally too, as members, they give you member bonuses. And so they'll throw in a dessert at you once in a while. Or um, this week I made up the Zesty Ranch Ritz crackers as a bonus for a fun treat for my family. So I just made those when I was live right now. Is there a coupon code for first time joiners? Yes, 10 off, 10OFF. Just sign up for the sample, great, I'm so glad. Give it a try, you're gonna love it. So make sure you're following us over on TikTok. Make sure you're sharing it with your friends, do all the things. Could you eventually do a Weight Watchers friendly one with points? That would be amazing. Okay, I'm going to encourage you to go over to the Facebook community group. It is five dinners, one hour community group over on Facebook. And there are a lot of people that do Weight Watchers that count points that use this program. So definitely go talk to them because they're gonna be able to tell you all of their tips and tricks. It's a quarterly cost. It is a quarterly expense. And so that 10 off is off of your is off of three months. And the second you sign up, you have access to three months. You just have to log in. All right. Okay, you guys, I think that's about it. The name of the Facebook group is Five Dinners, One Hour Community Group. And again, that coupon code is 10 off, 10OFF. All right, everyone, you take care. Have a fantastic day. Just tuned in. Are there gluten-free options? There are, I, I keep gluten-free, dairy-free. I am gluten, dairy, egg, and almond-free, and I can make 90% of these recipes. You're buying your groceries, so you're using the subs. I, today, for the French bread pizzas, mine is made with a Char's pizza crust, okay? Um, I use Sanjay soy, gluten-free soy sauce. Um, things like that. So you're buying your groceries, you're buying the ingredients that you already know and trust. All right, everybody, have a fantastic rest of your, what is today, Wednesday, and we'll see y'all again soon. Bye.